Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time for our another run of Spirit Fall, and this time we only have one Blight Root remaining. Stay vigilant, Omen Forge. The Blight rages. Soon it will unleash its wrath upon the High Priestess and her fallen order. Akin to you, the fate of the perennial order was sealed by the prophecy. Their heresy will not be forgotten, however the perennial flame wishes to pardon their souls. Free their souls from the corrupt prison before the blight consumes them whole. Alright, and we are ready for our fifth and final weapon, but we're going to go in here and take a look at what we can unlock. So, I believe... I forget which one we are working on. Uh, I think it was Nivalik? Nevelic. Okay, so we do have three to spend. We could get both of these. We have a rollback if you are standing ability that has a cooldown before it. The trigger refunds cooldown immediately. So if I get stunned, I get my cooldown refresh. Bounces on a stun enemy using hop also deals 10 damage and resets my dash cooldown. So we'll go ahead and get the rollback. And what's the new one? If your bolt didn't hit any enemies before being destroyed, advance 50% of its remaining cooldown. Ah, so if I miss my with my bolt. I get 50% of the cooldown, so yeah, let's get some more cooldown, and there we go, we unlocked the Nevelic Mask. I wasn't expecting you to make such progress so soon. You are full of surprises, Open Forged. This mask will help you to deliver swift justice on your foes. Take it as a token of my appreciation. Hurry up now, destiny waits for no one. Alrighty, alrighty, and we have a bunch of scrolls to use, so this may take a little bit of time, guys. Let me go ahead and, you know what, I'm going to try to get one of these fives. I think the fiver is going to be pretty good. When entering a region or shrine, obtain a random, random sanctum resource. Awesome, awesome, that's going to definitely help with the uh, resources. And we will take it, yep. And then we also have two, we can have making an offering to a spirit altar. Also increases that spirit's chance to offer blessings of a higher rarity. Nice, nice, nice. We will grab that as well. Okay. And we've already unlocked our last and final weapon. And we have to go through this weapon for a little bit because it is kind of complicated. So this was called the Equinox. It looks like a scythe. And we have the neutral attack. Which I'm not sure if it could lead into any aerials. Maybe the forward, but... Yeah, you just kind of jump and they hop back. It's a little... I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of it because it leaves me airborne. I feel like it's kind of slow. I like the neutral attacks where it just leaves me on the ground and I can like spam it. Side attack, here's the side combo. And it looks like a three hit combo, but actually if you just hit, press the button twice, that third will automatically come out. So here's one, two, and that third automatically comes out. Now the side is pretty good as you can see it covers a lot of range and I think I like the, the scythe because uh, it does cover a huge area so I, I thought the uh, hammer was going to be like the wide swinging weapon but the scythe actually got a lot of coverage here now we have the up attack you can see it's like just a nice arc this it reminds me of like the up smash on Ike from Smash Brothers just a nice arc I don't think it has a sweet spot and then here's the down right it looks like just a poke now one thing I do feel that this weapon is lacking is speed I feel like it's a little slow but hopefully we can get all the stun and the, the wide swing attacks used to our advantage now here's the launcher okay now here's where this weapon is so much more complicated than other ones if you hold the scythe right well let, if you tap it it's just like a regular smash you know can go in all the directions just like the hammer you smash it's a down launcher now here's the thing if you hold it to charge it's gonna go ahead and throw the head of the scythe out and then without the scythe now I have a staff I have a completely different move set so now you can see I have a poke here that can also lead into aerials the forward attack is just gonna be a nice sweeping basic combo so I think, let's see, one, two, three. It's actually hard to get that third hit because the second one like launches them in the air. The down, you can see that down does like a little pokey poke. So actually one, two, three on the down hits. So you can also notice that the, the staff by itself doesn't do as much damage as the scythe. 
head. Uh, here I'm going to continue with the up attack. Now the up attack is actually pretty good. The up attack, like remember the scythe was a nice arc around your body. Well, the up attack is actually a kick up and a follow up. It leaves you airborne to do a aerial. So let's say we follow up with a side aerial. So that's pretty good. Or we can follow up with the up aerial. And up aerial is kind of like the hammer, where it, it's like a little helicopter. So that could be a basic combo, just up attack with the up aerial. Down aerial, where the down air is just a, like a stab down. It's a nice sweet spot, and uh, I think this is going to be a nice meteor attack. But it's kind of hard to hit because it goes straight down. And lastly, a uh, launcher. Now, here's the thing. If you just tap it, same as the scythe. And as you can see there, if I go to the scythe head and I do a launcher attack, it knocks the scythe head around and into all the enemies. And if I hold the launcher, holds the scythe head back, and it does a little swing attack when it comes back to me. So very, very complicated, but I think, you know, you can launch it out and then pull it back. And then if the enemies are around me, it will hit them as well. Up launcher and the down launcher, it's pretty much the same. So I have it pulled back. Now, the air attack, uh, the scythe air attack, I think we already went over the staff, right? Uh, we went over the side, the up, yep. Yeah, I think that's all good. For the scythe, the neutral is like a nice swing. I actually like this one, it swings all around you. So it's, it's going to be a little hard to use because you can't be pushing any directional buttons. But it's a nice swing around you. I think this, this is going to be pretty good. I wonder if it can knock... See, it has quite a, no a lot of knockback too. Also, another thing I like about the scythe is I, I noticed that the scythe has a lot of knockback. And pretty pretty good to hit the sweet spot from a long range too. Okay, so now let's go with the side air. Uh, it's just going to be a nice swing, and you can see at the tip we have that sweet spot. So if you space it correctly, you can get that sweet spot, and it covers a decent bit of the screen here. The up air uh, is going to be a grab attack. You just hook them, and then automatically it'll uh, do a down swing. And it looks like it launches them down quite a bit. So this could be a meteor if the enemy is right above you. Now the down is going to be a... looks like it's going to be another meteor as well. It does look like it has a sweet spot to the tip. And this arc provides a bigger hitbox than it does with the staff, where it just stabs straight down. So I think with this attack, I'm going to try to keep it in the scythe mode as much as possible. It does more damage, it has more range, and a lot more knockback. So we'll try to keep it there. But the launcher can be pretty good, and I will use it and try to do the staff when I need to, but I'll try to pull it back and keep it in the scythe mode. Now, let's go ahead and try out the Mask of Navalik. So it, your base movement speed is higher, so it increases my movement speed. And also it deals 45% of my attack speed and movement speed effects as bonus damage. The faster I get uh, attack speed or movement speed, then the harder I hit which is pretty nice. So this, this mask is all about speed. Yeah, def I definitely this weapon is a little bit slow, but hopefully uh, I'll make up for it with its range and knockback. So let's see, freezing attack. Um, I think this could be a good freezing attack one. I, I, it doesn't hit a lot, so it's not really quick. Uh, we don't need to be stacking a fire or anything. Just slowing the enemy down, that will bring them down to basically my speed. Now, the, I think the launcher is actually probably the best option. It seems like you could air launcher pretty quick, especially with the Nevelik. I don't, I don't think it gives me any um, attack speed, but the, long, the launcher looks pretty quick here. I can go for some more ice, or I can go for a tribute. I haven't done that in a long time. And we have the harmony, so let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, I forget what um, this spirit gives me. Let's take a look. I 
get oh nice get a relic 60% of my cooldown speed and attack speed bonuses add to my bolt damage okay I don't really have a bolt yet but uh, this one I think upgrades a rarity so now my freezing attack is epic you can see 70% attack damage which is pretty nice and we'll get the statue of harmony yeah there's a lot of knockback on this weapon Oh, yeah, the, the staff is a little bit hard to control. I'm going to try to keep it in the scythe mode for now. Yeah, okay, that up air is pretty nice. Got nice vertical range. Oh. Definitely feeling a little sluggish. Doesn't help that this guy just flies around everywhere. What is the combo with this weapon even? I think with the scythe, like there's oh, I, I I am liking the side air. I think with the scythe, there's not too much combos. It's just mostly like big hits and uh, hit and run and tactics, kind of like with the hammer. Ooh, okay, so I can do a dash, or I can get this Aurora Borealis, which uh, I think this is a. Uh, Gonna be good for some of the synergy. Ah, uh, I gotta try to avoid that doggy. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it just yet. Gonna get some dust here. Big swings. Definitely feel like Ike from Smash Bros. He was one of my favorite characters, definitely. So. This scythe may end up being one of my favorite weapons as well. Ah, I gotta, can't forget the down attack. It is a nice two hit combo after all. I'm gonna try to get the scrolls up to five scrolls, and that way we can go ahead and get something. Definitely wanna go for the shop, I think. Give us access to both the spirits and probably a hidden rift. Now between the two, I do have ice. I think I want to go ahead and get some crit. I feel like this weapon does nice damage. Ooh, I've got a critical dash. Uh, it has an epic, which is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and take that. And we'll get that heal from the tribute. Recover some of the HP. Do we get a hidden rift? Yes, we do. And we'll take it. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, wow. So that. So that uh, scythe head, when it comes back, it definitely uh, KO'd them as well. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, awesome. Definitely a nice, nice launcher. Ah, this may be like the highest knockback weapon in the game. Okay, I think if we're going to get a launcher, we want to get a wounded. Okay, the bolt is really good too. Let's get that because that goes all the way around us. We got some AoE damage. And I don't mind freezing launcher, although ice charge is pretty nice. Anybody inflicted with uh, frost get to have ice come out of them. I don't really need the heals. I'll get the max HP. I think this is going to be vital. I'm eager to see what's going to happen if, uh, what, well, hopefully we'll get to the final boss and get to the High Priestess and beat her. And I'm curious what we're going to unlock by getting the, rid of the last Blight Root. Definitely a fun weapon to use, but a little complicated, so it takes, definitely takes some getting used to. Gonna try to save the dust for the shop, although it doesn't matter. I could have gotten that uh, mystery herb. Get a little bit of healing, and then let's go. Time for the final, or the first boss. Getting ahead of myself there. I see it now. They wanted me to stay to protect the people if they didn't return. I failed them. This failure will not overshadow what's left of me. I don't give up. I believe we have that in common. Ready. When you are on the forge. So, ah, 
this weapon because of the uh oh looks like i'm stuck with a bow for now But yeah, like I was saying, because the scythe head can throw it all the way across the screen, this may be like the longest range weapon in the game, but of course, it's basically, it's really slow, like you can only do it once and then like the head stays there. Too bad have a little bit more than half life i think i'm going to get because of this yeah this heals 50 percent so definitely full heal here uh, i only have enough to get one of the major enchantments when you hit your scythe head to relaunch it destroys small projectile in the radius around you okay that's not too bad your attack deals 40 percent damage to shield enemy breaking shield advance all cooldowns okay you know what i'll just get some shield damage and we'll save this last essence for the next set of enchantments now I can grab the relic here. Yeah, let's get another relic. Please let it be a good one. Okay, I like this helmet. Gives me a chance to reduce damage by half and what, it increases my dash attack? Yeah, my dash and bolt is uh, damage increase, which is nice. We're gonna go ahead and get Mishved. A lot of damage. Definitely feeling the air, the side air. Okay, so do we want more dash damage or the bolt? We'll do the dash. I mean, I don't notice it because I'm just dashing everywhere. I'm only using the dash to avoid attacks, but I, I'm imagine that it is doing a nice bit of damage too. This weapon is pretty versatile. Like you could, like if you're not into the single hit attacks, you can go with the staff and uh, get those multi hits, and uh, go with Celesh, something to build up some fire uh, stacks or something, or even electrify. That would be pretty nice too. My art, my eye shards seek enemies and deal increased damage. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's go with some magic missiles here. I have enough for Blessing and then I can go ahead and get Kalamid afterwards or Mishved. Oh yeah, we get the Kalamid ourselves here. The Moonscar. I remember the Moonscar was kind of hard to use. Uh, I think I'll save it. Maybe I'll get the Mishved assist. We'll go with Nova Strike. I do like how um, after the dash we get increased crit chance. And then we'll go with we'll go with Mishved. Hopefully we'll get that assist and if we don't get anything. Well, hopefully it'll we'll have a good blessing either way. Yeah, I like how the missiles just seek out the enemies there.
There's the Mishfed assist. And we'll take it. Now we only have the launcher left. And here's the hidden rift. Ah, couldn't get over that ledge. Wow, that is a lot of knockback there. That air launcher. Oh, I think I could do. Th yeah, I think I could do the up attack into the air launcher. So air launch, uh, up launcher, up launcher, grab him, and then up launch again. Yeah, I think if I time that right, that could be the KO. The knockback on this weapon is insane, guys. Let's go with Kalaman. Maybe we'll get the launcher and start wounding some enemies some more. Yeah, there's a launcher. Let's take it. I don't need heals or anything, so we'll go ahead and save our dust for the shop. Ah, oh, so close. If only I have five more dust, I can get a blessing and health. But we'll go ahead and get the max health. Uh, we are a little bit low here. Uh, I want to save my dust. I don't want to top it off. I'm going to just risk it. Be super careful with the boss here. I was going to be super careful, but I feel like I'm a little risky here. I totally dashed. I was dashing, anticipating the arrow shot. Ah, my dash was on cooldown. Oh my gosh, I said I was gonna be careful and I am being reckless, guys. Okay, that's two of them. Juggling him. <laughs> yeah, the juggles is for real. I don't say anything anymore. Arenio Ash has got 22. Okay, I gotta start getting those battle ruins and start upgrading the weapons. Now, if we get the run completed with this weapon, or if not, maybe we'll just go ahead and start. Uh, upgrading those weapons. We have six and uh, unfortunately we didn't get three major enchantments but let's see when you hit your scythe head to relaunch it it gains 50% damage. Okay we may be relaunching the scythe a little bit more. Then then the echo while your scythe head is detached in motion increased echoes. Okay nice we may be doing more of that. And I think I'll just save it. Save it for uh, not use it on the minor enchantments. So yeah, I definitely want to be doing a little bit more of the launching. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way and get the 2 max HP upgrade. So let's try this out. Yeah, I definitely see some echoes and explosions. Oh, nice, nice. It even happens if I relaunch it. Yeah, okay. Maybe that, that's going to be the thing. Just launch it and keep hitting that scythe head. Oh man, those explosions are pretty nice. And increase my dash or the, you know the launcher an extra 20% damage boost that's gonna be really nice and 
get the max HP here. Okay, that didn't really go anywhere. Wow, that explosion is super good. I feel like I'm just just uh, abusing this launcher here. I gotta pay attention. Okay, gonna have to use some of my staff attacks. Oh, I, I even get those uh, explosions when they come back to me. Okay, so I don't, maybe I don't have to run towards it. I can just shoot it out and pull it back. And let's get a little bit more HP. I gotta still remember to use the regular attacks though, because it does give me those magic missile freezes. going on, on the screen. Alright, 275, that's a good decent amount. And you know, let's, either one of these two, I think let's go ahead and get some more freeze. I've been using the assist, I should be using that a little bit more. Pull it back, okay, do a little dash because I thought I was going to get hit. Explosions are so good. I think where this weapon would rank. Probably better than the two melee weapons, but then maybe a little bit lower than the bow. Not sure. Probably better than the linked blades. Let's decrease our cooldowns. And we get a hidden rift, and then I think I'll go for Calumin after that. Or we can go straight up to Zalboon and get another relic. Not even like a charge attack or anything. Yeah, the knockback on this is amazing. This may be the best or the second best weapon in the game. That's what I'm thinking. When you wall splat enemies, inflict frost, they deal damage, and inflict frost nearby wall splatting. Mm, that could be good, especially with the knockback on this weapon. Let's try that, and then what we get with Celesh? More dust. Let's go ahead and get that. I think we're still pretty good. We can get some more dust. I have two relics already. Maybe get some dodge, because you know I'm I'm missing the uh, what was it? Sharbara. I'm missing Sharbara's uh, defense, so maybe I get some dodge for survivability. Although, like I feel like the enemies like have a hard time getting close to me. Deal 2% more damage if your previous attack hit an enemy. Sure. Epic calculated is gonna be good. 
go for a relic and then we can shop after this. I keep forgetting about the assist. That you know, that's another way I can get a lot of the freezes. And man, with the knockback, I am getting that uh, wall splat bonus there. That is nice. Just deal a bunch more damage the first time you're using the each combat room. Okay, and my bolts should be doing a lot of damage now. We got plenty of dust. Ah, oh, I wish we had two blessings. You deal increased damage per enemy inflicted with frost up to 30% bonus damage. I think let's do the edge guard, right? This already has crazy knockback. I think it'll be great with the edge guard. Don't need any healing, and I don't want any holy dice. Gonna save that dust. All right, time for the warlock. I can feel the blight coursing through my veins. We are almost one. The blight will rip this world anew, and I will be the vessel it uses. I don't think so, buddy. I think you're going down right here, right now. Well, can I wall splat? Yeah. Okay. why I air dash, right? You gotta jump and dash through the from, from the air, because if you don't, then you get hit by the second one. I think there's like a really tight window where you can avoid both of them, but it's gonna be tough, like right there. Oh, I hate that wave. I always forget about it. Dash into him. wave hit me? I thought it was going to miss me if I was all the way across the screen. Jump over that wave. Jump. Dodge the orbs. I think I should like just wall splat straight in the air. How did I get hit by that? Okay, let's stay on the very edge, that hand will miss me. Jump over. Ah, oh, okay. So close. Let's not get reckless here. Just throw this head. And there we go. The showman, omen forge. Next time we meet, my power will peak, and you will bear witness to my. No, this is not how it should. What's happening? Arrogant wretch, we cannot be controlled. No way. Oh. That ominous voice is calling. The frigid veil. All right, this will be the last place we get to use their essences, and then become useless. So. When you slay an enemy within 4 seconds of another, restore health, so nice, nice, get some more HP going. Your scythe head is detached, and in motion it deals 50. Ooh, we already want to do that anyway, then we could get two minor ones. Let's go ahead and do the launcher, I feel like I used that a lot. Could do the perfect launcher, that's going to be us launching the head anyways. Attack speed. I guess we could get a little bit of agility, I feel like we are a little bit slow. Okay, then that is all of our enchantments. Ah, uh, cook a sharp rod, maybe hope for some defense. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Okay. 
even with this uh, attack speed upgrade, still feels pretty slow. Underestimated, it's actually really good. There's five esoteric scrolls right there. Oh, it is epic, but I don't need that. I need some reduced damage effects. Safeguard. Now, let's take a look at relics. Do I can I replace like this is level one? It doesn't have any bonus like damage or anything, so I could get rid of this. My cooldown seems to be my cooldown up uh, Yeah, could. Although, I think I'll go for Relic Relic, perhaps, and then get the health upgrade up there. Ah, okay. I will do this. Wow, why did I jump into that? Throwing this head is really good, it's just uh, really slow at times. Wow, nice, 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 a lot of damage, and we will swap it with our level 1 relic. And we will destroy this, even though Essies don't really do anything after the Shrine Keeper. Okay, we're gonna go for a Hidden Rift. And I have a lot. I can go for a shop after this to get the Harmony Shrine. Man, I feel like with the Scythe, like these hidden rifts are just a joke. You see how easy it is? Just two launcher attacks. Well, I didn't get any blessings. Why? I, do I, am I like finishing them off too quickly? Alright, so we do have two blessings here we can get. We play Frost, put it, and they deal damage in the radius. We will get this Galactating Frost. Come in! Open Wound seems pretty good. And we don't need the hills, which is great for us. I wonder if it takes down attack, 75 each. I'll just be throwing my sight. do a lot of damage. Oh, I still don't have enough for a synergy. I think constellation. I think constellation is really important. For the synergy blessings. Mm, Sharbara or Kalaman. I think Kalaman gives us a chance to get a synergy blessing. And then I don't really need more dust. You know what? I could go with Zavun. 
go with the HP. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Get a little bit more max HP. This will be like my last chance to boost that up before the final fight. Too many things on screen. All right, I want Dodge Chance. That's right. And then get some more max HP. That should put me over 300. enough time. Man, this weapon is making me reckless. I just want to like run everywhere and just smack people. Start unlocking those weapon upgrades. Here we go, we're gonna grab a heal. Oh, nice, nice, max HP and a heal, and we get Zalboon. Do we get more dash chance? We can, but I, after dash, great. Okay, and then now we are here. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> hold the door. <laughs> oh, I always forget. He always like comes in and like grabs you at first. Okay. Just gotta make sure, keep an eye on him. Never back to the formation. Oh, I forgot that does like a lot of uh, AOE damage there. I wonder if the wall splat can help me like chance to unlock him. Looks like it gets a little stun every time it goes into the wall. Ah, oh, try to escape the map. Start using the dash a little bit more defensively and not so aggressively. Please forgive me, you did the order proud. Omen Forge end this. I will. Ah, still don't have a shrine keeper here. I wonder if like the scrolls will unlock a new shrine keeper here.
Yeah, that is super good at just pushing people off screen. Ah, oh, God, can't I gotta remember the counter attack? The only enemy type I'm worried about is those uh, big guys with the shields. Looks like all the other ones, like this guy right here. Looks like all the other ones can be knocked out pretty easily. Man, I'm doing a ton of damage too. I don't need to knock them out. Floated out of there. Oh wow, man, that was so good, so quick. Let's see, 200, 400, 550. I got enough for all of these. Let's start with the Sharbara. I could do a one-hit damage reduction. Enemy deal reduce damage once their health loss below 20%. We'll get that. Hopefully, they get the boss below 20 and get some damage reduction. 4%. Um, damage after a hit, get 20% damage, or yeah, we'll just do this one that way, get a little bit of revenge damage going. Movement speed, I like that, that is the one I'm gonna take for sure. And why not heal one HP, right? Every little bit counts. I appreciate this. Wow, I jumped all the way here. It is you. I thought I could resist it, I thought I could. My time is almost over, but somehow things are clearer now. Fulfill the prophecy for his sake. Open the... Enough! Now, I do know this is our last Blight route, and uh, spoiler, there's gonna be a second phase. Once we get her HP down all the way, she's gonna have a second phase. But after that, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Okay, so, so because of that, I can't be too reckless on the HP. We need to try and make sure we avoid most of the attacks as possible. I think we can use kind of like the bow strategy where we stand back and we chuck our uh, scythe head and we have the explosion as well. So. And that scythe head also does a good job in knocking her out. If we just catch it at the right time, of course. Wow. Oh, I just noticed I can pull it in and then like right before it gets to me, I can uh, let go of the launcher and smack it right back at her. Wow, okay. So that, that will make things a little bit faster. I just like say here, I pull back and I just let go before you know, I can knock that uh, side head back. Focus, focus, Ryan.
Oh, sorry, I'm not talking too much, guys. Definitely focusing on trying to avoid all the attacks. A lot of projectiles here in this fight. I think we're doing really well, especially like, man, with all these explosions flying around the screen, this side. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if, it, uh, if the bow is the best weapon anymore. It could be this side. Alright, so here we go. Here's the second phase. Now, you see that little white orb? I gotta make sure to avoid that too. That That's gonna, like, do an explosion of damage that hits pretty hard. So we either have to knock that away, or we have to uh, avoid it. Right there, it's in the middle. So I went ahead and just went ahead and used my assist. And try and knock it away. Ah, uh, you see? There's the explosion. Okay, we're on our last life, guys. And that actually does not heal me as much as I thought. It's probably because I didn't have any... a lot of max life. Oh, I'm really gonna try to avoid that. It, it hits pretty hard. Okay. This may be the end of the line, guys. The last phase was pretty tough. Definitely think I want to need some more HP, but hey, there you go. That is the scythe, the equinox. The scythe and the bow staff. It's pretty complicated, very fun to use. It may be the best game weapon in the game. Who knows? Try it out. And until next time, guys, see ya.